Happy Friday, everybody. I'm Max, and on today's fix, that Pokemon with Guns game Pal World is selling like, well, Pokemon with Guns. Sony's issuing some refunds for people who paid too much money for The Last of Us Part 2 on PS5, and the games that are going to be leaving PlayStation Plus next month. Let's get into it. <laughs> Pal World, that game that can't not be described as Pokemon with guns, hit early access on Steam and Xbox yesterday, and it is already a hit. Developer Pocket Pair announced that the game managed to break 1 million copies sold in around 8 hours post-release. Based on the steady stream of very positive user reviews, it's safe to say that people are really enjoying it too, which is nice. As of me saying this, Pal World is sitting at third place on Steam's most played list, hovering around 350,000 concurrent players. Bear in mind, that's just on Steam, it is undoubtedly also also getting its fair share of attention on Xbox, where it's free for Game Pass subscribers. Unsurprisingly, the downside to such a massive launch means that the servers are getting hit pretty hard, so some users have experienced connectivity issues. Pocket Pair addressed the issue on Twitter, saying, quote, We are working to resolve this ASAP. In the meantime, some users have reported success in attempting to connect two to three times or waiting after launching the game. So basically, try, try turning it on and off again, see if that works, I guess. On Steam, multiplayer allows up to 32 players to inhabit the same world cooperatively, but it's a little bit less robust for anybody playing on Xbox or on PC through Game Pass or the Microsoft Store, where co-op is limited to two to four players. Pocket Pair addressed that on the Pal World Discord, saying, quote, We'd like to have dedicated servers on Xbox, but it's unfortunately not up to us and is quite difficult to negotiate at this time, but we are trying. There's no word on who it is up to. Pocket Pair hasn't yet responded to IGN's request for clarification, which is totally fair because clearly the studio has kind of a lot going on right now. Hopefully Pal World keeps up this momentum and the success of the early access launch allows Pocket Pair to add everything that players could possibly want to see. But really, it's already got Pokemon with guns, so what more could you even ask for? The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered makes its way to PS5 today, adding bonus features like the No Return roguelike and guitar free play modes, developer commentary on lost levels, and all of the polish you'd expect from a first party PS5 game. If you're buying the game for the first time, it'll run you $49.99 here in the States, but if you already own the PS4 version physically or digitally, it's only a $10 upgrade, which seems shockingly reasonable in this age of everything getting worse, more expensive, or both. Apparently, pre-orders went up before the upgrade pricing was announced, so a select number of fans may have been so quick to reach for their wallets that they effectively overpaid for the game. For any of those individuals who already own the PS4 version digitally, Sony is issuing refunds for the difference, which is nice. Meanwhile, anybody who already owns the PS4 version won't even have the option of buying the full price PS5 version digitally, just the upgrade. So if any of that pertains to you, now you know. And finally, speaking of PlayStation, PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium Tier subscribers looking to get their money's worth, there are some PS4 games that you might want to jump on before they get delisted from the service in February. Here's what's going away. Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown, Hugh, I Am Setsuna, Lost Sphere, Lost Words Beyond the Page, Oninaki, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Tacoma, Tekken 7, and Thomas Was Alone. Presumably you've got until February 20th to play these, since that's when the next batch of PS Plus games will be added to the service, at which point you'll have to buy all those games I just listed individually, the old-fashioned way, like we did in the olden days. That is your fix for Friday, January 19th, 2024. For more on Pal World, go check out our review in progress, and for everything else gaming, even if it doesn't involve Pokemon with guns, you know where to find it, IGN. Have a good weekend, everybody. I'll see you next time.